Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, it is near the end of August and Hobby has a sale on. Now, Hobby has all the yarns that I love on sale. Now, it's really worthwhile going onto Hobby and checking out almost every other day because they change their sale, they'll let it run, I think it's for about two weeks, and then they'll change it to other things. And near the end of the two weeks, you can sometimes get up to 70% off the yarn. Unbelievable. Now, a lot of the yarn I love on Hobby was reduced. And I got some yarn. I got some yarn. It's not a promotion. Uh, this is a yarn that I got myself because I want to do some blankets and things for the autumn and the winter. So I'm going to get my scissors and we are going to open up this bag. And I'll fish out the receipt so that I can tell you what the names of these yarns are. Now under the video, I'll put it stacked full. Under the video, I'll put a link to Hobby. And this is not a promotional video, this one. I got this yarn myself. So it's not a promo video or anything like that. I did buy all this yarn. So I've got the receipt out and I've got it to the side. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Now, I can't get this bag in. It is a big stuffed bag. I'm going to push it as far over to the side as I can. And I've got my receipts here and I've got the names of the yarns and the colours that are that are there. So look at this. Now in here it should just be carnival yarn which I adore, absolutely adore, and butterfly, the butterfly range. There's the butterfly yarn, each one is named after a butterfly. And the carnival, it is places, I think, that do carnivals like New Orleans and Venice and Nice and Salver, all these different places. They're called, uh, well, to me, I, I actually thought it was, they were named after countries, but because it's carnival, it might be named after carnivals. Probably is. <laughs> it makes sense, Alison, doesn't it? Anyway, let's get into this bag. So we'll take this one first. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous now this is the range is called carnival Mutley wants the bag i think i've got a little bag somewhere if you hear a noise in the background it's going to be Mutley. it's not fair for him just to sit and let him listen to me rabbiting on about yarn i'll throw it away over on the other side of the room where's your ball have you got it stuck under my chair have you got it Yep, off you go. He's got it. So this is called Carnival and it's made by a hobby. It's a 100% premium acrylic yarn. So I put Mutley out in the hall with his, his toys in his bag. He'll probably bring it back in again because the door's opened. So anyway, this is 100% premium acrylic yarn. It is beautiful. Now you might notice that the, the way this is spun, you do get some fine spinning and some that's maybe just a little bit thicker, but it adds to the beauty. Look at the colours. The colours are absolutely amazing. Look at that deep, deep purple in there. There's a deep, deep purple before it goes to that black. Now, this one... It's 100% acrylic. It's 100 grams per ball. That's 3.5 ounces. And if you go by meterage, this is 240 meters or 262 yards per ball. 
it's a weight three yarn. So in the UK, a weight three is like a double knitting. And I would use a four or a four and a half crochet hook. That's what I use, a four and a four and a half. If you want to do something lacy and open, then use a five millimeter crochet hook. I don't know what that is in the USA. Now a four or a four and a half is a seven or a GH size. Now I have used a five and a half, a UK five and a half crochet hook on this and I think that's a Jai. If I look on this, a four and a half is a seven. A five is an H. A five is an H. That's a five millimeter is an H. And I've got another one here. A 5.5 is an I hook. Now I've been using other hooks as well as these because I've got a really nice set of crochet hooks here and these are from Hobby as well. This beautiful full set of crochet hooks. Got my little hooks in there. It, it only tells you the UK size. It's not got the US size. That's why I haven't showed you these ones. I use these a lot. You can tell by the scuff marks of the, the hooks going in and out here. I take this everywhere I go. If I go outside the house, I take this with me because it's fantastic. You get them on Hobby as well. I'll pop that to the side there. Anyway, let's go on with this. It's a size 3, a weight 3 in the UK or a lot of Europe that is double knitting, DK yarn, beautiful, weight three, crochet is beautiful. Now this one, it doesn't tell you the name, it gives you a number on it, and this is number 19. So number 19 is, I've got my papers here, now it's, I'm going to spell it, R-I-J-E-K-A, Rika. Rika. Now that's that one, but if you go on to Hobby, the Carnival, I'm sure there is 35 to 40 different combinations of colours. There is a lot of colours, a lot of them. Now I've got that one, that one's number 19. Now I'll go a little bit quicker because there is a lot in here. And that's right Raikia, Raijika. I'm not even going to try it. Anyway, that's that one. I'm going to pop that there. Now, this one. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that. That's so beautiful. Now, this one I'm sure I've had before. This one is colour number eight. And colour number eight is. I found it on my list. Tobago. Now, I've had this one before. And look at the colours in this beautiful it goes from grey it goes to a light lilac goes to almost like a purple like a fiery orange and back to that that is beautiful now these are the colours that I've wanted for some of the autumn things that I'm going to make and this one is Tobago this one is Tobago I won't keep going through this, the the weight and the hoops and that to use. It's all the same for the carnival. A weight three, a hundred gram ball, two hundred and sixty-two yards. It tells you to use a US seven or a GH or a UK four or four and a half. And if you're into knitting, it's a four, a four and a half millimeter a US 6 or 7 or a UK 7 and 8. Now the UK 7 and 8 is the old size. The UK now goes by 4 and the 4, it goes by the millimetre now. So this one is Tobago, absolutely beautiful. Now this one here, some of them I just got one because I want to mix and match. Now look to be able to mix and match that, absolutely amazing. I can start off with those, then I can start with these balls, you can start from the outside or the inside and make it dark or have it go dark in the middle and work its way out. Some of them I got like fire colours, sunset colours, some of them it's like deep sea colours, heather colours, that kind of thing. Look at this, looks like a rose doesn't it? 
If you put your hands like that, it actually looks as if you've got a rose in your hand. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. I love this stuff. Now this one is, I'm just going to start doing the numbers now. Number three. And number three is Trinidad. This is Trinidad. That's, that one's Trinidad and this one's Tobago. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like you're under the sea with that one, isn't it? Now this one, look at this. It goes in to these beautiful, beautiful peacock blues and greens. Absolutely, I'm, I love this stuff. I love it. I love crocheting with it. Right, next one. Because we have got a lot. But quite a few. Now this one is number 16. Number 16 is... Mazatlan. <laughs> My pronunciation so I've got a sheet over here with it and it says Mazatalan but that is number 16 if you need to know it that way look at these beautiful oranges and burnt umbers look at that and it goes down into these beautiful sage greens and dark sort of grey blue colours it's almost like the storm colours well, these are heathery colours. It's like heather on fire, isn't it? Now, that one is number 16, Mazatlan. <laughs> I'm going to give up. <laughs> I'll put that there. Now, this one, ooh, it's a bit squished, this one. Look at this one. This is beautiful. Now, this was for sort of like, look at that. It's absolutely amazing. Um, look at those colours. Now this is number 17, number 17, and number 17 is, now if the light changes just a little bit, it's because we've actually got thunder and lightning outside, you can't hear it in here, but it's pouring with rain after all the heat that we've had. So this is number 17, and number 17 is, if I can find it, Berlin. This one is Berlin, look at the blues, absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful and you've got these sort of charcoal greys there's a charcoal grey in there look at that and it goes to all these blues I love the insides of these beautiful a big swirl of paint so that one's Berlin keep going because there's more oh my gosh my gosh oh, look at that one absolutely beautiful my gosh now you think if you've got like this one and this one, you can mix and match that into a blanket. You can start either on the inside, like I said, or the outside. And even that one and that one, look at that. that one, lots of these are going to match. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now this one is number 14. And number 14 is Nice. Nice. Or nice. Nice. It's not nice. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. This makes such beautiful, beautiful, those crocodile stitch type blankets or the virus stitch. I know that a lot of people don't like talking about <laughs> the virus. The virus blanket used to be called the German shells and I think just after the war they changed it from German shells to a virus blanket. Sometimes you just don't know how things get their name or stitches but sort of like those big shells, the big shell would be beautiful in that or the crocodile stitch ones where it looks like crocodile skin or do you know what I mean like if not fin scales like even dragon scales if you make toys this would make a beautiful dragon look at that it's absolutely beautiful now this one was number 14 and number 14 is nice now Molly's grumping at me I think he's got his ball stuck I'm going to go and fix that so the next one the next one is Carnival again. This is number 13. That last one was number 14. This one is number 13. 
and that is Quebec. Quebec. Look at that. It's beautiful. I like the way they look like roses when they're in your hand like that. This is beautiful. It's all greens and beautiful, beautiful purples and dark colours. It is amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. So that one is Quebec and that's number 13. That one's number 13. Now this one, oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This is number 12. Now I'm sure there's one or two of them that I got more than one. And some of them I just got one. I might have actually, because it was on sale, I might have just picked one, <laughs> one of all the ones that still had available. Uh, this is number 12, and number 12 is, if I find it on my little list I have here, Notting Hill. This one is Notting Hill. Yep, there's a Notting Hill Carnival. So it must be all the places that hold a carnival. Is there a Quebec? Is there a carnival in Quebec? I'll need to ask Latrissa. She's my son's partner and she's from Canada. So she'll know. <laughs> he sent her a message. <laughs> there probably is. They wouldn't call it that if it wasn't. And look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that pink. I love that. And I love the way that it's quite a subtle change. And then you do have a good little bit of the yarn before it changes again. Sometimes the colour changes on yarn is very abrupt. One minute it's pink, the next minute it might be yellow or... But with this, it's a beautiful, subtle, subtle change. It really is. And you can see there how it changes. Beautiful. So this one here is Notting Hill pop that there. Now this one is getting squished in that bag. Where's the number? Number four. Number four. This is New Orleans. This one is New Orleans. Look at that. I love that purple. Do you know what? I think it would be great if they did some of these just in solid colours on their own. Some of these reds and pinks. Especially these beautiful purples. Look at those. Absolutely amazing the way they change that. And then look at that. Even just that repeated as a ball of yarn. It's beautiful. If you had more than one of these, you can actually strip them apart and have one nice big ball with that one colour. But look at that beautiful fireside colours. Beautiful. And they will mix. Look at that. You can mix that with that. You can even mix it with these ones. Have that in the middle and then spreading out to that. Because they're just so subtle in the colour change. There's lots of them that you can mix and match together. Look at that. It's beautiful. So again, this one. What did I say? This was number four. And number four is New Orleans. I'm going to pop that down. I'm running out of space here. It's landing on the top of my keyboard there. Pop it there. And let's go on with this. Now, look at this one. This one's well squished in that bag. Look at that. Beautiful. Like deep sea, isn't it? It's like the, the top of the sea and it gets darker as it goes down, away down into the, the dark abyss of the sea. Oh, too much imagination, Alison. Now this is number six, and number six is... Oh, Aliborg. It's A-A-I-B-O-R-G. Aliborg. Whatever. It's number six. This is number six. Beautiful. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. You should put that one with that one. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to pop that there. Now, the next one. There's no sweetie in the bag. That's two bags of hobby that I've opened recently and there's been no sweetie in it. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. This one is number five. 
And number five is Copenhagen. Copenhagen. I think I've got one of these already. I do have some carnival yarn left, yes. I got this so that I would have three balls. I've got this one and there's two on my shelf because I want to do a blanket and these are going to be beautiful, beautiful colours. It's like the sky, isn't it? It's like when you've got your cloudy sky and your blue sky and then it gets dark before it rains when these really dark sort of cloud rain cloud colours. Uh, I know it's for a carnival, but I think it's like this guy. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. So that one is Copenhagen. That's my favourite, I think, this one. And this one here. This one and this. This is number, number 12. I think number 12 was Notting Hill. These are my favourites. I love these. Right, I'm going to pop that up there. Now, what have we got? There's another one here before it goes on to... Oh, I've got another one there. And that might be one at the back. So, anyway, we've got this one. We're getting there with it. I think I just ticked one of everything because I just wanted to see what these are all alike. Now, this is number 10. Number 10 is... Londa. L-U... A N D R D A, not D R D A, <laughs> and this is number ten. Look at that! Now, if you put that even with that one, beautiful. You can have that in the middle and then growing out to that color, or you can do it with this one. Beautiful. You can mix and match it with so much. Look at that! Even that one. That's beautiful, isn't it? So that one is number 10. Number 10. I'm going to pop that. I'm going to pop that down on my basket. I've got a basket down there. Now this one, last but not quite least, is number 18. I've got more in there. It's different yarn. So number 18 is... Salvador. This is Salvador. Now look at that. These purples. It's almost like an electric blue. Look at that. It's amazing. Now there's another one that's got that same purple in it. It's this one. And this one is... You can mix these two. That's number four. And number four was New Orleans. New Orleans and this one. That's Salvador. You'll be able to do that if you start with that sort of darker colour after that. Now what's all in this one? It's all sort of really stormy grey. Now I know it looks black, but it's not. It's like electric blues and it goes to, to greys. You can see it there. And look at that. And then back into all these sort of this purple and sort of the pinkish and the grey speckle, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to pop that down because we've still got more. I'll put that one down in my basket. And the rest, oh, I've got one more of those. I might have one more. I think they're butterfly ones. Look at this one. This one is number two. And number two is Venice. Now, I think I might have had a Venice. I think I've got, not one unit, I've got one unit of them all. But it was on sale, so what I was doing was, um, even if it's not, if you go on to Hobby and it's not on sale, if you buy more than, if you buy three, the price drops, if you buy four, the price drops, if you buy six, the price drops to almost half the price as well. So that's a good way if you're budgeting is... The, the more you buy, the cheaper it is. So if you're looking for about five balls of this one, then if you get it, you'll get the price reduced, which is good. And if you spend over a certain amount, I think it's £55, you'll get free delivery. It's either 55 or 65 but some of this is beautiful. And when they've got a sale on, you do buy quite a bit. And look at this. This is beautiful and it goes back into all these blues. This is beautiful. I like this one. This is 
number two. This is Venus. I think I've got two balls of Venus already. I've got two of that. There's some of the other ones that I've got a ball on my shelf as well. I'll pop that down there so that one's Venice. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go on to this butterfly. Now this, believe it or not, was more than half price. This was more than half price. And in my last hobby video, I was talking about the Universe yarn and they brought out one that's XL and XL on hobby is our DK or a weight three. It's a weight four. It's a weight three in the USA. And that at the moment is down to half price. I don't know if it'll still be half price by the time this video goes out. But go on the link, just have a look and see what the, what I do is I just I wait for a sale. And that's how I get these beautiful yarns. I wait and I wait and sometimes if I'm lucky I'll get the colours I want and sometimes they're sold out because people have got before me. But sometimes if you wait that extra little bit of time they reduce it even more. They'll reduce it down and sometimes there's one of them that I got, I actually think it was all of this carnival, that's why I've got so much. This was more than half price. I think this was down to 60 This was down to £2.75 a ball, I think, when I got... That's why I got so much of it. And it was down in price. It was amazing, amazing reduction. And the butterfly one is half the price. Now, this one is 100% premium acrylic. It's the Hobby brand again, and it's but it's beautiful. It is so soft. It doesn't split when you crochet with it. It's amazing to crochet with. And because you get such a big amount, I think you get maybe like 25 grams before it changes. You can, and I have before, split this. Like if I want you some making something small that I need that grey, and look at that. Now the barking you can hear, it's not muttly, it's a, the dog next door. There's, there's dogs up and down the street and it's barking. But look at that in there. I'll turn it that way. Oh, that was a lot easier, wasn't it? <laughs> now there is one and then it goes to this one. That's two colour changes. Then it goes to this one here as sort of three, then four, five, six colour changes six colour changes now sometimes with this one it does change quite quickly now it's not abrupt it doesn't go from that straight to that there is a, just a very short slight change and then it'll go to that colour that's what makes it brilliant if you're making a small garment and you think oh I need something that looks like the deep blue sea and then you go and you get this anyway this one is a weight three so a weight three in the uk is like double knitting i treat this like double knitting it is a hundred percent acrylic there's 200 grams in this now that is a lot of yarn because it's double knitting or weight three yarn there's a lot in it for the price that you get especially if you get it on sale like me you're getting it for half price when i just watch the sale there's 200 grams, that's 7 ounces. That's 500 metres, or that's 547 yards. That is plenty to make a lap blanket. That is plenty to make a lap blanket for your lap. Two of these will make a really good size sofa throw, or like something just to throw on the top of your bed when it's a little bit chilly to keep you warm. Not a full size bed, but it will make a really good size blanket if you're doing it as a blanket. And I think maybe three of these would maybe make a small cardigan for a small adult. Absolutely beautiful. Now, oh, it tells you here, 10 by 10 centimetres is 4 by 4 inches. 22 stitches gives you 28 rows to get your tension. I don't know what that is actually for. Now, they make this in Turkey, there's no, that I know, there is no pattern inside a label, but if you go into a hobby, 
they do have free patterns that you can download so if you go on to the website so this is color number three enough of the talking color number three is let me find it holly blue this is called holly blue so there must be a butterfly called a holly blue butterfly i, I wish i could see it's absolutely beautiful it's stunning look at that beautiful it's so soft it is really soft now i'm going to put that in my basket i've still got a basket down there that one is holly blue now with these i only got one each of these now look at that absolutely stunning i got one because i have another one already and hopefully it'll be the same batch number now this one it tells you to use a 4 or a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook that is a usg or a 6 stroke 7 and it's the same yardage 500 meters 447 yards 200 grams that's seven ounces 100 percent acrylic weight three or in the uk a double knitting uh, this one now i'm just going to tell you the code numbers the color number is eight and eight is bronze copper that is exactly what it is look at that now this is beautiful sort of sunset sunrise colors look at that it's absolutely amazing it's like the middle of a fire isn't it when it all goes darker as it comes out absolutely beautiful 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 now you would think that was quite dark but look when you go in here and you get these russet colors and you get all these oranges and into these peaches and then it goes back to the darker colors and there i might have actually just got the inside of it in there beautiful absolutely beautiful and that one is number eight number eight and it's copper bronze copper bronze copper that's beautiful Pop that in my basket now this one is beautiful look at this this is number 14 and number 14 is iridescent forest now this is one of my favorite along with that bronze copper this is iridescent forest look at that it's absolutely beautiful look at those colors stunning and it just winds and it's like opening up an onion skin look at this and it goes into these beautiful shades of sage green and then into this one and then it gets lighter as it goes into the middle beautiful so you can either start it from the middle with the lighter colors and work out to the darker one or you can start it on the darker one now i love that sort of greenish blue that's there absolutely adorable i'm going to pop that one down and that one is iridescent forest beautiful now oh i've got another little carnival we've got another little carnival here this is number 15 and number 15 was bolivia Bolivia, look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Looks like a target, doesn't it? That is beautiful. Now that would go beautiful with one of the other ones that was quite fiery orange. Can't find it, it's buried itself under there. But look at that. Absolutely but do you know something? That would actually go that would actually go with that look at that wouldn't it even though it's spun very similar and the thickness is very similar so you could actually mix this with that and they're both super soft they're both so soft they are beautiful 
absolutely beautiful so that one was bolivia that is the carnival the carnival one look the colors in that it's amazing i'll pop that into my basket that i've got down there now we've got two oh there's another carnival one oh what is this one is that not the same as that notting hill number seven no it's not actually number seven is basil b-a-s-e-l basil look at that it's beautiful oh why did i not buy more than this well that would make a beautiful sleeping bag if i had done it. i'll need to look and see on my shelf no i don't see one my shelf's just over there with <laughs> the, all these beautiful carnival yarns on that I've got some of them already. And but there's I'm sure there's forty. It's either forty three or forty five. There's a lot of different variations of these colours. That is beautiful. But if we find the one that was Notting Hill, is that this one? Twelve. That's Notting Hill. Now look at that. That's the same sort of greys and blacks and that white and then it goes to that. So you could take all those purples out and put it in. There is a little tinge of pink in this one. You could actually just use the two of them. That is beautiful. Have that in the middle and then go out to that because all that grey is on the outside. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm going to pop that there. And that one is basil. So when I stopped the video and I went to get Motley's ball because he got it stuck, I found the <laughs> zipper on the floor. That must have knocked him out of the bag. Now this one is, I've got two left. Look at this one. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Now this is number... I need to pull the label on. This one is number nine. And this is the one that is Sakura Pink Butterfly. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the way these colours go. Absolutely stunning. I've got Mutley jumping around on the chairs. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It goes into a lighter pink cream pink moves on to the cerise pink and red beautiful that one is number nine that is sakura pink butterfly i'm going to pop that one down on the floor i think i give it a kick when i was <laughs> this one this is the last one this is number six number six is harlequin this is number six so i got three six balls of this i got six balls when it was on sale i think there's 14 there might be 14 colors in the butterfly range and this one is called harlequin and it goes from a cream and then it goes to this beautiful peach and then this beautiful cappuccino sort of color and then it slowly goes to these pinks sort of sort of plummy colours and then it slowly moves round to these blues absolutely beautiful look at that beautiful one two three four five six most of them seem to have six of a colour change stunning now I love this one I did, I love these, these two, this copper one, which is number, my favourites is number eight and number nine, number eight and number nine, now I love them all, but I really like that one, I really like that, it's beautiful, I'll make myself something, I think I've got another one of those up on the shelf, and, or oh, it's that one, it might be that one there, the Harlequin, and I think I'll make myself something with it. But anyway, thank you. That's it all. <laughs> so 
I'll go and have a look and see what Hobby's got. Hobby seems to have turned into my favourite yarn blaze. And this is not a promotion, by the way. It's not a promotion. I used... My, I'm going to be 60 in a couple of weeks. And I used some of the money that my sister sent to me a little bit early so that I could go and... P she knew there was a sale on and she's like, go and get yourself something. And this is what I get. I got because I'm going to be 60. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. I think I should have got more. Uh, maybe I should have left some of the carnival out and got some more of these beautiful. But there is 200 grams in the ball. This one's been through the mill a little bit. Look at the state of this one. It's been squished and then fell on the floor and kicked around. Yeah, <laughs> poor thing. But there is 200 grams in it and it's absolutely beautiful. So I think if my very first grandbaby is going to be a girl I think I'll make like a pram topper for the top of Amy's pram the baby's pram and she's already said that if it's going to be a boy she's going to call it Jack as far as I know but she's not got a name picked for a girl I hope she doesn't call it Alice and I don't want it it's a bit old-fashioned my name uh, it is. but that is beautiful so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell icon for free, YouTube will send you a notification telling you that I've posted up a new video. And also, if you want to help support the channel, you can go on my coffee page that is underneath the video and Anything helps. Anything helps with the running of the channel. And only do that if you can. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. It is completely free. And your support on the channel with your comments and your friendship is is 100% enough. But if you can help, then every little bit helps, doesn't it? And you can also follow me on the coffee page. You can follow me there. You can send me the odd message. I do post up when I remember. I do post up some pictures and things. I'm going to try and write out some of the patterns that I've been doing. I'll write it out, try it myself, make sure it works. And then hopefully I can do it as a, a PDF that you can go and download. And you can you can have. So until the next time. Happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.